So I'm David Spergel. I'm a professor of astronomy at Princeton University. I first got interested in cosmology when I took a course in general relativity in college. And I thought it was just a really fascinating subject, thinking about how the universe began, how it evolved, where galaxies came from, really where we came from. I feel really lucky to be working in the field at an incredible time where we've made tremendous progress. And it meant I've had the opportunity to work on some really important experiments. The field really in some ways started with the discovery of the microwave background, the leftover heat from the Big Bang. This microwave background represents light that was created in the first second of the universe. And that discovery kind of opened up a whole area, opened up the realization that the universe started out very hot, very dense. And when we observe the fluctuations, we're seeing what the universe looked like 380,000 years after the Big Bang. So I like to think of it as we're looking at the universe's baby picture. And by mapping out in increasing detail, and that's what we've done in the last 20 years, we've learned a lot of things about our universe. We've learned it's remarkably simple. Uh, five numbers describe all its properties. And these five numbers are, you know, some of its basic properties. How old is it? We now know it's 13.8 billion years. We know that with an uncertainty of just a percent. We know the universe's composition, how many atoms there are in the visible universe, how much matter there is. Atoms, the stuff that makes up us, makes up only four, maybe more, four and a half percent of the universe. The remaining 95 percent is in stuff that we don't understand. So we're in this really interesting state in cosmology where on one hand, We've had tremendous advances, but we're left with these profound questions. We don't know what makes up 95% of the universe. You know, why is the universe accelerating? Is general relativity working on the largest scales of the universe? Another big question is how the universe begin. What is its ultimate fate? Will it be torn apart in a great rip? Will it collapse on itself in a big crunch? It's not clear whether anything we'll discover about the early universe will have direct application in something in our daily lives, but it might. We know we're missing things about our universe. And if we understand them, that'll give us the ability to perhaps change our world in a better way. Everyone can understand some of it. None of us can understand all of it.